<laughs> Sir, if I may make so bold, a major crisis has arisen in your affairs. Yes, I know, Blackadder. I've been pondering it all morning. You have, sir? Yes. Socks. Run out again. <laughs> Why is it that no matter how many millions of pairs of socks I buy, I never seem to have any? Sir, with your forgiveness, there is another, even weightier problem. They just disappear. <laughs> Honestly, you'd think someone was coming in here, stealing the damn things, and then selling them off. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible, sir. Only you and I have access to your socks. Yes, yes, you're right. Still, for me, socks are like sex. Tons of it about, and I never seem to get any. <laughs> sir, if I may return to this very urgent matter, I read fearful news in this morning's paper. Oh, no. Not another little cat caught up in a tree. <laughs> no, sir. There is a vote afoot in the new parliament to strike you from the civil list. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But what are they going to do about my socks? Sir, if this bill goes through, you won't have any socks. Well, I haven't got any socks at the moment. Or trousers, shirts, waistcoats or pantaloons. They're going to bankrupt you. They can't do that. Why, right, the public love me. Only the other day, I was out in the street, and they sang, We hail Prince George! We hail Prince George! We hate Prince George. <laughs> we hate Prince George. Is it? I fear so, sir. However, all is not lost. Fortunately, the numbers in the Commons are exactly equal. If we can get one more MP to support us, then you're safe. Oh, hurrah! Any ideas? Well, yes, sir. There is one man who might just be the ace of our sleeve. A rather crusty, loud-mouthed ace named Sir Talbot Buxomley. <laughs> Never heard of him. That's hardly surprising, sir. Sir Talbot has the worst attendance record of any member of Parliament. On the one occasion he did enter the House of Commons, he passed water in the Great Hall and then passed out in the Speaker's chair. <laughs> but if we can get him to support us, then we are safe. Well, what's he like? Well, according to who's who, his interests include flogging servants, shooting poor people, and the extension of slavery to anyone who hasn't got a knighthood. <laughs> Excellent. Sensible policies for a happier Britain. However, if we're going to get him to support us, he will need some sort of incentive. Hmm. Anything in mind? Well, you could appoint him a High Court judge. Is he qualified? He's a violent, bigoted, mindless old fool. <laughs> Sounds a bit overqualified. Well, <laughs> get him here at once. Certainly, sir. I will return before you can say anti-disestablishmentarianism. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. anti distibulitsmin <laughs> anti mistilinstiv anti stits anti distinctly minty monitors <laughs> Sir Talbot Buxomley, MP. Ah! Buxomley! Roaringly splendid to have you here. How are you, sir? Heartily well, Your Highness. I dined hugely off a of servant before I come into town. Um, you eat your servants? No, oh, sir. I eat off them. Why should I spend good money on tables when I have men standing idle? <laughs> Why, indeed. Now, I dare say you've heard of Mr. Pitt's intentions. Young stallywag! Ah, so you don't approve of his plans to abolish me, then? I do not, sir. Damn his eyes! Damn his britches! Damn his duck pond! Well, hurrah for that! I care not a jot that you are the son of a certified sauerkraut-sucking loon. Oh, thank you, sir. It minds not me that you dress like a mad parrot and talk like a plate of beans negotiating their way out of a cow's digestive system. <laughs> it is no skin off my rosy nose that there are bits of lemon peel floating down the Thames that would make better regents than you. Oh, bravo! The fact is, yeah, yeah. you are regent. Yes, I am. Pointed yeah. by God. And I shall stick by you forever, though infirmity lay me waste and ill health curse my every waking moment. Well, good on you, sir. And don't talk to me about infirmity. Why, sir, you are the hardy stock that is the core of Britain's greatness. You have the physique of a demigod, purple of cheek and plump of fetlock, the shapely ankle and the well-filled trouser that tells of a human body in perfect working order. He's dead, sir. <laughs> Dead? <laughs> yes, Your Highness. Oh, what bad luck. We were rather getting on. 